Hello, I'm Steve. Welcome to the Patio Heat Channel, where we provide visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for outdoor comfort. Send your request into designs at patioheat.com for your personalized recommendations. Our one-on-one -on -one customer support helps you make the best decisions for your applications. We strive to earn your business. Visit our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Now let's get heating. All right, so here we have this residential patio. This is a third floor um, deck, I'll call it. And you can see that we have a reclining space over here, dining space over here, and there's a little, maybe a food prep area over here. Um, we do have some curtains. We have some uh, recessed lighting in the uh, both areas. I'm not quite sure exactly where they are. Um, so I just placed them. I think I have them at 36 inches on this side and 36 inches off this edge over here. And then 12 inches centered from this point right here to the center and 12 inches from this edge here to the center and I think I have about 36 inches here and then I just place this one haphazardly over here so um, uh, they, they are in the center of the patio however so uh, let's go ahead and look at the overall um, dimensions of the patio so overall dimensions you can see here, here I have at 15 uh, 5 um, the space over here about 10 foot 2 over here uh, 5 foot excuse me 7 foot 5 6 foot 10 6 foot 10 over here and then the seating position here I have roughly at about 11 and a half feet from this edge here to this uh, counter space here um, anything else I think that's pretty much about it um, height wise you can see I have this at uh, 7 foot 11 to the top edge over here to the finished floor here and then also um, 9 foot 4 from the top here to the finished floor over here you can see I have a model here um, he's 6 foot 2 and I'm just showing that because um, when I place these units I want you to see that uh, you don't want to have a, a standing position and um, place units like I'm going to show here uh, so just bear that in mind I, I don't like that idea um, it'll be too hot if you're planning on uh, having a height of this uh, 7 foot 11 and standing underneath the heater. Um, a couple other dimensions, I got uh, uh, 4 foot 6 of the uh, um, counter space here and then uh, 2 foot 5 um, depth here. I think there's, a, you can see I have here at 6, 3, 9, 3 from this edge here to this outer edge over here. And I think that's about it. Some of these dimensions are um, just um, my observations and not true. So um, the only true height that I really received, um, well, I received several, but uh, this 11, 7 foot 11 is important, and this 9 foot 4 is very important. So um, I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and turn off those dimensions and uh, go ahead and show what... Uh, options you might want to use. So this uh, unit out here is centered within the total span here and then centered within the span from left to right um, here and this is a uh, slimline 4000 watt unit and um, again not knowing where the true lighting fixtures are that might be an issue shouldn't be an issue but uh, something to think about. Um, over here, I have a slimline 3000 watt unit, and uh, I have that centered within that uh, 11 foot span, 11 and a half foot span, and also centered within the uh, area from here to here. And uh, again, you wouldn't want to use a 4000 watt, most likely, uh, unless you're going to use a control system. Um, control systems will allow you to dim the heater down so that it's not on the full uh, output. Um, but at this height, you know, you're not going to want to have that much uh, heat um, because of the height. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the um, distance on the uh, height that I have here. Um, please ignore that six foot for a moment. But uh, the height, the bottom edge here to the finished floor here, I have at uh, seven foot two. And again, this is a six foot two model here. So um, you're only one foot away if you're standing underneath it. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the overall uh, dimensions of uh, footprint of heat. And you can see here with a 4,000 watt unit, you're covering this um, 
seating position fairly decently. It's, it's just a four uh, seating position here, four chairs. And then over here, you can see that we're covering it okay. Um, this back lounge over here is just fine. Um, over here, we're getting a partial coverage. And if you're sitting in this position here, your upper body will probably be out of the uh, physical ray itself. So you may or may not um, appreciate some of the warmth. Um, and because of the height of the unit, you can see the footprint is a little bit smaller than what it would be if um, it was higher up there. So think about the uh, heaters as kind of like a flashlight. If you were to put like maybe a circle of light here on a wall, or if you were to walk away from that, your footprint would get larger. If you get closer, it gets tighter. And that's what's going on with the uh, heater itself. So um, just keep that uh, in mind. And um, yeah, so this would be a fairly decent uh, application. Again, if you wanted both 4,000 watt units, you'd definitely want to control, especially on the back uh, unit over here. So my recommendations would be 3,000 and 4,000. And let's go ahead and look at a different option, which would be um, having still the 4,000 watt he heater over here and then 2,500 watt units over here. Now, 2,500 watts units are shorter, so they would fit in this span here very um, well. And let's see if I have the uh, clearances here. So yeah, we need 18 inches of clearance from this edge here to the edge of the heater. And then um, on all four sides, basically, on the bottom edge of the heater itself. And you can see here, uh, we're meeting that clearance as well over here. Um, and then, of course, the clearances on top are six inches above um, all units and six inches at the upper edge of the heaters on all four sides. So. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that off and look at the footprint of heat. And the reason I like this particular application is even though these are um, less output units, um, the coverage is a lot better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this one here off for a moment. But you can see that the coverage overall throughout this whole span is much better. I'm going to go ahead and turn that dimension back on. Sorry, the uh, distances here that I have apart. You can see I have these at six foot. Uh, inches up, or six foot apart from center to center and um, you may even want to move this one now the reason I have it positioned there is basically because of the fact that I have that light fixture there but if it's not physically there it would be probably a little nicer to you know maybe move it another six inches away from that wall and you get a nicer uh, overlapping ray over here and good coverage over here where you're not uh, penetrating the wall as much so I think this would be a much nicer application of five foot six however I'm not quite sure of that light fixture so that's why I have it like that so and let's go ahead and turn this one back on let's see if I can get it there we go and you can see how this coverage here would look in this area as well. So, all right, well, I hope this has helped. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and you would like us to review your plans, please send your information again to designs at patioheat.com. I'm Steve. Please tap that like button if you find this video useful. We don't advertise, not monetize. YouTube does not promote our channel unless we receive thumbs up from our viewers, and we truly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Have an excellent day.